Good evening, everyone. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. I'm going to wait for, for more people to jump on before I continue. Hey, Shannon. Good evening. So it's okay, buddy. Ugh. Um, I wanted to update everybody about boss. So we had an appointment set. Um, he has been, boss is about 10 years of age. Uh, we rescued boss from the Palm Beach shelter, completely blind. And, um, we took him to Dr. Carastro, the eye specialist, where he was put on, uh, eye medications and they did the testing to see if he was a candidate for cataract surgery which Dr. Carastro said he was with one eye and we were so excited we were counting the days the seconds um, Shelly and I and Keith woke up early this morning and jumped in the car and brought boss man to Dr. Carastro's office um, to have his surgery today, his one eye. And as soon as he left the office, I got a phone call from Dr. Carastro herself. And before they put the dog under anesthesia, they always retest the pressure in the eye that they're going to be doing surgery on. Uh, the surgery, um, sadly, she called me and said, Amy, I am so, so sorry but boss's pressure is in the 80s. Um, he has glaucoma uh, and his one eye that had a chance no longer has a chance. Um, and this, people are asking, well, if you did it at that time when you brought him in, would he, would he, no. What would have happened was they would have done the surgery and he would have went blind. So it would be a complete letdown and a waste of surgery. That is why they do the um, drops and the appointments every couple of weeks, rechecking. And when he went in this morning, she said, I am so sorry, but he is not a candidate. There's nothing, he has glaucoma um, and his eyes have, there's zero sight. So he is sadly not a candidate. And I was so sad. I called Shelly and I told her and she's like, why, why Amy? And I explained it to her the best that I could, the way that Dr. Carastro, come here, boss man, boss, 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 boss. Hey, buddy. Hey, monkey. Come here, honey. Come here, sweets. Want to go over here? Come on, boss. Follow my feet. Come on. Come on, baby. Boss. Come on. Um... So when I called Shelly, she was so devastated. And Keith was in the background and he was like, why, why? Um, and I explained, you know, and the options were to give him two injections, one in each eyeball, which Dr. Carastra said it is zero pain. Um, and that would take away the pressure and put him on some steroid drops and, um, which is twice a day, and he would have no pain. The other option was to eye, two double eye inoculations, which is to remove both eyes for people that don't want to deal with the aftercare um, of the drops. And I was like, absolutely not. I said, I'm not going to put him through that. I can't. So she said, no, Amy, I think you're making the right decision. Let's give him the two shots and send him home on some steroid eye drops. So needless to say, I'm sorry it took me this long. Um, I really am super sorry, but it's been a crazy day again. And it just dawned on me that, oh my God, Carol's like, babe, you've got to update. Everybody's asking. And it's just, we've been just, it's such a letdown. It's so, it's just disappointing. Then I said to Shelly, you know what, Shelly, we love him and he, he doesn't know any different. He loves love. He loves his comfy beds. He loves to eat. He loves to just walk around the yard. So you know what? For whatever time that this boy has, we're going to make it great. We're going to make it great time and with nothing but love, nothing but unconditional love. 
ideally, wouldn't it be amazing if there was this amazing special angel out there that would open up their home to boss because he's so easy. He's such an easy dog. He doesn't make a sound. Um, he just loves, he's in a pen in our, in, you know, in his space. But wouldn't it be amazing if there was somebody out there with a big, beautiful heart that would give Boss a place to call home? And Shelly's like, you never know, Amy. Maybe there will be an angel that will come forward. And I said, maybe, Shelly, maybe. But if not, you know what? Then we've made him a promise. When we pull a dog from a situation, we make them a promise. And we're going to do what we can. And we tried. We tried. We tried to give him the, the opportunity to see, but sadly, the higher power had a different plan. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? So with all that being said, um, boss man is going to continue being boss man and blind, but it would be truly amazing if there was some beautiful soul out there that could offer him a loving, loving home really. He's, he's 10. He deserves it. He deserves it. He loves love. He loves to be held when you pick him up and you hold him close once he knows you're there and he can trust you. There's not a mean bone in his body. There's not a growl or anything. He's just the sweetest little soul. He's in a black world. He's in a black world. And I don't think he knows any different. I really don't think he knows any different. So I know there are some really beautiful people out there still in this world. And I know there has to be somebody out there that would give boss a loving home. And I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, he's doing what he wants to do. He's going where he wants to go. He navigates. And it's dark out. It's starting to get dark out here. Hey, Shell, can you try to get him to come out towards you? He keeps going under the chairs. You know, we're in Florida. And if there's somebody. Hi, honey. <laughs> And there's Hi, little mommy Jolie, always rolling over on the back. Hi, Jolie, mama. Hi, sweetest. So, listen, he loves to be loved. He loves to be held. See? And um, he needs a person. He deserves it. There has to be somebody out there. No, he's great with other dogs. He's, he's perfect with other dogs, as long as they're not rough with him. You know, because he can't see. So it has to be just an older dog or just a calm sweet dog he's great with other dogs he's neutered you know he's vaccinated he's microchipped we've done everything we can here but guys we don't want to pile up and you know we don't want to be a sanctuary we want to continue our mission so that's when we say to the community where are you where are the angels where are the angels that can give boss man a loving loving home he deserves it and this thing, what, really? Come on, guys. So many beautiful babies that need loving homes. So many. Everybody wants the same dog. 20 million emails for Dudley. 20 million emails for Dudley. None for Boss and none for Mommy, who's amazing. Mommy Jolie, not a one, not a one. Breaks my heart, because every single, oh, I'm sorry, Mommy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. I got you under your arm. Yeah, right there. Your little nippies. There you go. So, you know, these babies need homes. They need love. Yeah. I know. Joey has... Is he on the couch? Yeah. Joey, um... Thank you, Shelly. But, Shelly, tell everybody how amazing he is. He's off the chart. He's Shelly's favorite. She loves him. He's sweet as sugar. It's all love. Please, guys, if you can help and you can offer this sweet boy a loving home, you would need a fenced yard because he's not a dog you can walk on a leash. So he would need a yard. Um, and if you have a pool, it has to be, you know, away. Or you can never let him out of your sight. One second, it'll be, it's, it, there's no room for error. He's easy peasy. He needs a little yard. He doesn't need a big yard. But um, he, he doesn't walk on a leash. He just doesn't. So he needs a yard. <sighs> Okay, let's, where, Mommy, where'd you go? Thank you, Shelly. So next on to Joey. Um, Joey has an appointment tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Um, Keith, you want to pick up little Jojo?
please. Thank you. Joey has an appointment tomorrow at 10 o'clock to see our vet and have his mouth checked out. As I stated, we have him on uh, Clavamox, liquid antibiotics, and gabapentin. And um, he seems like fine, no discomfort. But we're going to have him checked out. And I've already called Dr. Kesha to make an appointment for a dental, um, depending on what the doctor up here states when he sees him. So that's tomorrow. Thank you so much, Keith. Hi, Mama. Hi, sweetness. What are you doing? Mama, come here. Come on up, 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 up. Come on. So, guys, please, <clears throat> this is rescue. I've said it over and over and over again. You know, we go from the highs, the lows, the sad, the happy. I mean, this is what it, this is, what it is. We plan. We had this whole thing. We've been running him back and forth, boss, to the eye specialist, and he was scheduled this morning and then don't forget joey was also scheduled this morning to have his eye cataract but then we noticed over the weekend um we f smelt this really funny smell and it's coming from his mouth and i think it's a tooth it could be an abscess it could be infected but he can't do and i spoke to carastro and i dr carastro and i said you know we didn't bring joey um because of the tooth the teeth and she said, no, no, Amy, you made the right, you cannot put a dog under surgery for eyes if they have um, problems with their teeth. It could cause infection, it's all connected. We all know that. So that's our plan. I'm sorry it didn't go according to what we, we wanted and we were so, so looking forward. So from two highs with Joey and Boss, um, you know, we can't, there's just nothing more we can do. We can't do anything for Boss, Joey still, after his dental, then we're gonna revisit and see if he is a candidate for the one eye. Uh, Mommy Jolie, who is two years, 12 pounds, all love, sweet, submissive, desperately needing a home. Her babies, eight puppies are at our wonderful foster. And this beautiful girl is just gonna get spayed and then she needs a home desperately. So please, please consider, think about opening up your home, your heart. We do not adopt that estate. Um, we do a home check in person. We do meet and greets in person. We can't do that out of state. We just can't. So if you've missed any of my video, please go back from the beginning. It's been a very long day and I need to shut down. I have a lot of things that I need to take care of. Uh, I just wanted to update everybody so I didn't leave you in the lurk and wondering. <clears throat> and you can watch this video from the beginning and it will basically explain everything in detail. Again, this is Amy with my update on Boss, on Joey, um, on Mommy, Julie, and our email is 100-100-PLUSAbandonedDogs at gmail.com. If you are interested, please reach out. Joey, Mommy, hi Julie. Julie's 12 pounds, Joey's six. I don't know what Boss is, maybe 15. 18, something like that. But please help us. Help us find homes. I will do another video later of Archie. Right now I need to shut down. Um, I promise you, tomorrow I will do a video of Archie. You guys take care of one another. Spread the love. Be kind. This is Amy signing off 100 plus. Abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.